Ooh, we've got the Dan Electro 57 Jade in the studio today. What a cool guitar. I mean, the whole thing is bound in Tolex. How incredible is that? Anyway, we're going to check this thing out top to bottom. Let's jump in and see what we got. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having an excellent day today. Well, it's Dano time in the studio. Dan Electro has reissued two guitars, the 59 Divine and the 57. So stay tuned to the channel. We'll look at the 59 Divine in a couple days, but today we're looking at this incredible beast. Well, let's jump straight in and check out some of the highlights of the 57 Jade. Now, of course, I will link to this in the video description below if you want all the detailed specs, but I just want to hit up some of the highlights. Now, aesthetically speaking, I gotta say I love this Jade finish. And of course, as I mentioned, the entire edge of this instrument is bound in cream Tolex, which just really offsets nicely with that green. So I'll take some close-up shots of it. But yeah, that uh, cream binding and the jade finish I think looks absolutely fantastic. Now the Dano 57 is of course a reissue of a guitar from the 50s, hence the name, and that was the U2. And the U2 had two single coil pickups with a single cut body shape. So that's what this guitar is a reissue of. Now there are some nice modern touches, i.e. we've got some really great open gear Godo tuners. I think that's a first on Dan Electros, but that's a really nice upgrade. So these are really good vintage style tuning machines with the ivory buttons and sort of that aged hardware look. So up on that headstock, um, you've got really, really nice tuning machines and I think they look really nice, of course, up against that green, but just with that aged hardware. Now moving on down to here, uh, the nut is always very important, as I say, to your tuning. Now the Dan Electro design is awesome because look at that tilt back. It's a three plus three design, but almost no tilt back. And we've got a bone nut. So this guitar has been holding tune absolutely fantastic. So the bone nut looks really good. I'll take a close up shot for you guys. So with these tuning machines and this bone nut and a fixed bridge over, you know, a three plus three design like this, uh, this baby holds tune. Now the neck on the 57 is made out of maple and it's painted to match the headstock and the body. Now, as I mentioned, there's some nice modern touches on this reissue, i.e. a modern two-way truss rod. So you'll be able to keep this neck perfectly straight. So here's a close-up view of the Dan Electro neck pocket. Looks really beautiful with all that Tolex. And by my count, the neck is held on by one, two, three, four, five different screws. Now, one of the major features of a guitar like this is its unique tone. You can only get that Dano tone out of a guitar built this way with these special pickups. And of course, these are lipstick pickups and Dan Electro invented them. In the 50s, when they were, you know, adding their guitars to their amp lineup and they're not really wanting to spend a bunch of money retooling their factory to make their own, you know, enclosures or buying them from somebody else. Well, like a lot of really cool inventions, it kind of came out of necessity. Well, just down the street from the Dan Electro factory was Max Factor and they were manufacturing cosmetics and more importantly, lipstick. So, I mean, they have like these bins full of lipstick tubes that Dan Electro can probably get for pennies and there you go. So they found their enclosures. They used an Alnico bar magnet that kind of spanned the whole length of the tube, wrapped it in copper. There you go, lipstick pickups. Now, as for the rest of the construction, we've got a spruce frame that runs around the entire perimeter of the guitar and a center block. So that's why I was saying the construction and the pickups are the combination you need to get that Dan Electro tone because this is a semi-hollow guitar. Very unique. And of course, the top is famously hardboard, they call it, but basically plywood and the back. But yeah, it's completely hollow body. Now these other two screws here are how you adjust the heights of your pickup. So this is your bridge adjustments and your neck. And of course, uh, you know, just in that classic Dan Electro charm, uh, the back cavity is circular and held on by one screw. Now when it comes to the electronics, we've got some more classic 
down electro charm. We've got stacked volume and tone knobs. This is for the bridge and this is for the neck. And then we've got a three-way switch. All right, so now that we've checked out some of the highlights, let's plug this baby in and check out some of the tones. Should be a lot of fun. Here we go. So here are my final thoughts on the 57 Jade. Now in terms of aesthetics and appearance, I think you guys could tell it's no secret. I really love the way this guitar looks. Love the finish, love, you know, just the right amount of Dan Electro charm on this guitar. So, you know, for me, it hits all the right spots. So I love the way it looks. Now in terms of how it plays, well, first of all, it is a semi-hollow guitar, so it's quite light. And of course, there's no headstock dive because there's almost no weight on this headstock. So it balances nice and it's lightweight. Now in terms of like how it feels to play, uh, it's got a Dan Electro feel. And if you've ever played one, I think you know what I mean. Uh, the strings here on this one are top loaded, so they go through the back of the bridge and straight shot to the tuners. <clears throat> the, the neck is very flat radius, so most vintage instruments have, you know, a, a fairly prominent arch on the fingerboard. On the Dan Electros, they're very, very flat. So it has a Dano feel to play, which again, you know, kind of plays into the uniqueness of this guitar. And I think it's the perfect guitar to add to you know, a couple others. If you're mainly a Les Paul player and you like to layer guitars, well, if you layer too many Les Paul tracks, they just kind of start stepping on each other. But you add a Dano into the mix and suddenly, you know, each guitar has its own spot in the spectrum and each tone. So that's what's, you know, kind of special about these Dan Electros. They just sit with other guitars perfectly. So if you've, you've got a couple people in your band or you, you like to layer guitars, uh, a Dan Electro is a perfect solution for that. Now, could it be somebody's number one guitar? 
absolutely it is that good um, and it's made in korea so you know in terms of construction very good um, i think the fret work is fine i'll take a few shots uh, for you guys it doesn't blow me away um, but it is serviceable and they aren't sharp so that's a good thing um, yeah and other than that it balances well it looks fantastic it plays well it has its own unique voice so i think Dan Electro is probably going to sell a few of these guitars. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this demo. Links to the guitar and all my links will be down in the video description below. If you want to know what gear I used in this video and all that stuff, you can find it down there. Other than that, have yourself a great week.